I had not been back there in years, but it was the last place left to look. Those lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Two odd contraptions guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. I decided this was no time to take a nap, even though that bed looked very squishy and very comfortable. And that's what would have happened if I turned the left switch. But since I am here telling this story, you already know that I pulled the right one. Pockets, barrels, butter churns, and beds were jammed into every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seemed so familiar. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Beneath a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was... A fabled mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to add a shinier hat to my collection.
I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Volumes of old books with foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to Tame a Dragon, Breaking the Spirit of Hideous Beasts, Amateur Spells to Impress Your Friends With. <laughs> no books about recovering missing handles, though. As I was saying, <clears throat> this was no time to take a nap. All right, I took a brief rest before I decided to adventure on with that very important treasure. So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> then I used my cleverness to hide. Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. What did you use to fix the broken switch? Dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. Thank you. 
After I was impaled by that spiky bed, I took a nap and decided the magic mirror could wait another evening before being rescued. Grandpa! Well, I thought maybe it was your bedtime, but I can continue. right into a ferocious dragon's mouth. I was just making sure he was still pet. 